welcome to another episode of Creative Wednesday. As you can see from the title, this week I'm going to show you how to make another BT21 DIY. I am going to show you how to make a monk plushie. I make sure that it has its signature heart shaped nose. Alright, let's get started. You will need light blue, dark blue, purple, pink, black, and white color felts. Threads to match, needle, pins, scissors, a wooden chopstick, plush toy stuffing, paper, and a printer. Start off by printing out the templates. You can find the link to the templates down in the description box below. Once you have your templates, cut them out. Great! Fold the light blue felt in half to make two pieces. Place the head shape template on top of it and pin them all together. Cut it out by following the shape of the template. Stack four pieces of the light blue felt, place the ear template on top of it and pin. Cut the pieces out. You should now have four ear shaped pieces. Fold the purple felt in half to make two pieces, place the body template on top and pin. Cut it out. Place the circles template on top of a piece of leftover purple felt. Pin and cut. Fold the pink felt in half. Place the snout template on top of it. Pin and cut. Fold the dark blue felt in half. Place the main template on top. Pin and cut. Fold the black felt in half. Place the template on top, pin, and cut. Place the circles template on top of the white felt. These circles are from the second piece of templates, so don't get confused. Pin, and cut. Next, you need to use these circles. Place the white circle on top of the large black circle and pin. Repeat the steps for the second black and white pieces. Stack and pin. Sew the white circle down. Here I'm using a sewing machine but you can hand sew it if you want. Place on the small black circle and pin. Do the same for the other eye. Sew it down. Take a piece of the head, place on the snout like this. Line it up and pin them together. Repeat the steps for the second piece for the head. Line up the snout and pin. They will now look like this. Sew this part down.
Arrange on the nostrils and pin. Arrange on the eyes and pin as well. Repeat the steps for the other side of the head. Sew the eyes and nostrils on permanently. Now you need to make the ears. Take two pieces, stack and pin. Do the same for the remaining two pieces, stack and pin. Sew it all around but leave an opening at the bottom. Flip them inside out through the opening. Stuff it with the plush toy stuffing. Slide the ear into the slit on the head like this. Pin it down. Do the same for the other side of the head. You need to sew this part down. They will now look like this. Take the head, flip it to the back, and fold the bottom part up once like this. Place on the body and pin. Repeat the steps for the second piece for the head. Flip, fold, stack on the body and pin. You need to sew this part. Fold and line up the slit on the hands and pin. Do the same for the other hand. Repeat the steps for the remaining hands. Stack the two pieces together face to face and pin the body together. Sew the body but leave an opening at the bottom of both legs. Place the circle onto the bottom of the legs and pin. You need to sew it all around. The bottom of the legs will now look like this. Stack the two pieces of the mane and pin them together. Sew it all around but leave an opening at the inside curved part. Flip it through the opening. Use the wooden chopstick to gently push the tail part out. Pin the top part of the mane. Pin down the snout securely. Slide the mane into the head like this. Line it to the back of the head and pin it down securely. Sew the head all around but leave an opening at the top here.
flip it inside out through the opening. Be really careful and make sure to remove all the pins from the main. Push the edges out with the wooden chopstick. Stuff it with the plush toy stuffing. Push the stuffing down with the wooden chopstick. Stuff it until it's nice and full. Once it's full, so close the opening. There you go! Your mum plushie is now completed. you enjoyed this week's episode of Creative Wednesday. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you are new to my channel. Be sure to check out all the other ET21 DIYs. I'll put a playlist down in the description box below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time.